So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve problems involving sets. So let's solve and analyze our first problem. In a group of 80 people, 40 like cold drinks and 50 like hot drinks, while 10 people does not like neither of the two drinks. How many like both cold and hot drinks? So first is we are going to put the universal set which is denoted or uh, illustrated using a rectangle. And this compose or, or represents the 80 people. Then we are going to uh, create a circle which represents those people who likes cold drinks and another circle for those who like hot drinks. Now it's given that there are 40 people who like cold drinks and 50 people who like hot drinks and you might wonder why we didn't put these numbers inside a circle. It's because uh, some of the people likes both cold and hot drinks. So it's not only, it, it's actually not 40 people who likes only cold drinks because some of them also likes hot drinks. Same as those 50 who likes hot drinks, some of them likes uh, cold drinks as, as well. Meaning some of them likes both. And that's what we are looking for. So there is additional given that there are 10 people does not like neither of the two drinks. So that means we are going to put this 10 outside these two circles because it's not, uh, it, they don't like any of the two drinks. So, but still this 10 are part of those 80 people, you know. So that means the total inside this circle must be uh, 70 because 70 plus 10, that's, that makes it all 80. So this must be uh, the cold plus hot. It must be 70. That includes also those who likes both cold and hot drinks. But if you uh, look at the numbers, it's 90. 40 plus 50 is 90. Now how come it is more than more than 70? It be, it's because there are uh, people who likes both cold and hot. So that means they are counted twice in this 40 and 50 and that's what we are going to correct it. So 90 and it's it must be 70. So that means there are 20 who likes both cold and hot. So that's how you find um, the middle of the two circles. So that's actually what we are looking for, but let's continue first to fill in all those, everything that must be in the circle. So for those who likes cold drinks, there are 14 also. There are also 20 who likes only cold drinks plus the 20 who likes both cold and hot, so that makes it all 40. Also for hot drinks only, so there are, so 50 minus 20 is 30. So that makes it all 50 for those who like hot drinks, both only and also both uh, cold and hot. So 20 plus 30, that's, that makes it all 50. Then, Let's answer now the question. How many like both cold and hot drinks? The answer is in the middle. It's 20. So let's try to solve another problem. There are 120 students under Mr. Ben's classes. 45 students are in math class. 42 students in physics class. 17 students are in both math and physics class. Find the number of students who are neither in math class nor in physics class. So let's uh, 
put first the given in using a Venn diagram. So we are going to put first the universal set, which is represented by a rectangle. And this represents 120 students, which is given as total students under Mr. Ben's classes. Then we're going to create circle for uh, representing uh, his math class and another circle representing his physics class. It's given that there are 45 students in all in math class, but we cannot put 45 yet in that uh, inside the circle because it includes those who likes both or I mean they are in both math and physics class under Mr. Ben and there are 42 students in physics again this includes those who are in both math and physics and there's another given it's 17 in both math and physics so it's here so it's important for us to know first what's in the middle so that we were able we are able to know what are the uh, values that we can put in the rest of the spaces in the circle. So to know how many students who are in math class only we are going to subtract 45 minus 17 that's 28. And for those who uh, joins physics class only, that's 42 minus 17, it's 25. Now, what we are looking for is the number of students who are ni neither in math class nor in physics class. So that means those who are uh, the values outside the circle, the circles. So, we need to know first the total of these two circles so that we can subtract that from the total and whatever is the difference that will be now uh, the, those are the answer, those who are neither in math nor in physics. So, you might uh, get mistaken with adding 45 and 42 directly that is very common because some are thinking that this is uh, math plus physics that means 45 plus 42 not uh, taking consideration those students who are in the middle th those who are in both sets math and physics that's why we uh, cannot get the right answer it's because the values the value that is in the middle is repeated twice it's both in 45 and also in 42 and that's what we want to avoid that's why we are making a Venn diagram to avoid that so let's add this 28 plus 17 plus 25 that makes it 70 so that means for uh, the whole circle math and physics, it's all 70. And to know how many are not in math and physics, we're going to subtract that from the total 120 minus 70. That is 50. So that means there are 50 students who are not part of Mr. Ben's math and physics class. And we don't know um, what are other subjects under Mr. Ben, but we are sure that there are 50 of them who are not in math nor in physics. So the answer is 50. Now let's have the third problem. Let's make it harder. In a survey about fruits that people like, 64 chose banana, 94 choose chose uh, apple, 58 chose mango, 28 chose banana and apple, 26 chose banana and mango, 22 chose apple and mango, and 12 chose all three fruits. How many chose one fruit only? So now let us
plot this first in the Venn diagram. So we have this rectangle representing the universal set and it, it represents the total number of people which is not given. So we cannot put a value for this universal set. But we are you sure that it represents the total number of people? Then we are going to uh, create circles for those who like banana. Another circle for those who like apple and for those who like mango. So there are three circles in all. And then we are going to plot the, the values given. So there are 64 for those who chose banana. So we can, we'll just put it outside because we want to avoid first uh, the values which are common also to the other uh, fruits. So that's why we temporarily we're going to put that outside. Next is we're going to put the 94 for the apple, 58 for mango. So that includes also those who like banana and mango, apple and mango, and those who likes all three. Now, uh, additional given, 28 chose banana and apple. So 28, we're going to put that outside still on top in between banana and apple because we cannot put that yet inside in between banana and apple because it includes those who likes all three fruits. So that's why we will just put it outside, but at least it is in between banana and apple, indicating that it is both banana and apple. Next, for 26, so chose banana and mango. So we're going to put that here in between them and 22 for apple and mango. Now, this is where we start our solving when we have the middle because that's the most important part in the Venn diagram, the value in the middle. And then we will solve it outwards from the center going up. So we have 12 who chose all three fruits. We're going to put that inside. So the, the, these 12, 12 people like banana, apple, and also mango. Now we're going to compute those who likes banana and apple, but they, they don't like mango. So we're going to have 28 minus 12. So we're going to remove those who like also mango. So 28 minus 12, there are 16 people who likes banana and apple only, not including mango. Then we're going to solve those who like apple and mango, but not banana. So we will have 22 minus 12. So there are 10 who likes apple and mango, but not banana. Then we're going to solve for banana and mango, 26 minus 12. So that's 14. So there are 14 people who likes banana and mango, but they don't like apple. So we're going to compute now those who likes banana only. The they don't like apple, they don't like mango. So there are 64 in all. That includes those who like apple and mango as well. So we're going to subtract that minus 14 minus 12 minus 16. Then the difference is 22. So that means there are 22 people who like banana only. They don't like apple nor mango. Next is for those who likes apple only we have 94 minus so we're going to subtract the 10 12 and 16 because they some of them likes banana and some of them likes mango as well aside for apple that's why we will subtract them because what we are looking for is, are those who likes apple only so the difference will be 56 so there are 56 people who likes apple only. Next, for mango, we will have 58 minus 14 minus 12 
minus 10. So you might wonder where are those numbers coming from? Those, uh, as you can see on top, 14, 12, and 10, those are the intersections, meaning it overlap with the other circles. Those are the numbers that we are subtracting. So 58 minus 14 minus 12 minus 10. So that we can have the number of people who likes mango only. So the difference will be 22. Now, the question is how many, how many chose one fruit only? So we're going to add these three numbers. Those who likes banana only, apple only, and mango only. 22 plus 22 plus 56. The, the sum will be 100. So the answer is 100. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.